Hi everyone, today I'm going to compare the Juju Cup Model 4 to the Ruby Cup Small. Um, yeah, I will have the exact dimensions in the description box, but I'm going to go through just, you know, the construction of the cup and show you top to bottom what they look like and then compare the firmness. Okay, um, so first things first is that I did trim the stem on my Ruby Cup, so I'm just going to show you that stem on its own. You can see it has these notches on it um, that will help you get a good grip on it. And it is a hollow stem. I have to say, I'm actually curious as to how hard it is to clean this, but I've never had to clean it, so I don't know. Um, I took the stem off of mine pretty much right away. Okay, so I'm going to go through the Juju Cup first and kind of show you the grip rings and the base and all that. Um, the Juju Cup has this short blunt stem, so I haven't had to trim it at all. It has a kind of a ball at the end. There's a little ridge here. Uh, attaching the stem to the rest of the cup. Um, then you have the grip rings. In, in this case, it's kind of just like a butterfly pattern that serves as a grip. Um, the cup is, I think there's like three different firmnesses in the cup. So there's a, the base here, if you can see, let's see if I can see the seam here. Basically, this seam is just around the area that has the grips. This is the firmest part of the cup. And um, then the body is softer. I would say in the medium soft range, and then the rim is probably a little bit softer than that. There are four suction release holes, equally spaced around the cup. Pretty decent size, so it should be easy enough to clean. Then you have the Juju logo embossed on the inside here. Um, there's a letter, I think a B here. I assume that that is to differentiate between the new line, which has four sizes, and the old line, which only has two. And then there's the number four to distinguish between, you know, the model four and the other models in this range. There are no measurement lines um, on the inside or outside of the cup. Okay, and then with the Ruby Cup, um, again, I showed you the stem already. The grip rings here are not the grippiest, but I prefer that because I don't need grip rings. So these are very, um, there's, they're very, there's an easy, smooth transition, so it's not too rigid. Um, you don't really feel it at all. There's a little bit of a, Kind of a hole, for lack of a better word, here where the stem was. Um, I haven't personally had any trouble cleaning that, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, this is an overall soft cup. Um, it does have four suction release holes as well, but these are very small, and I personally think hard to clean uh, without running water. There's a secondary rim, but it's not. There's not a many major difference in the firmness between the main rim and the secondary rim. Um, there are some measurement lines here. Oh, I never even noticed this. Like it actually says Ruby Cup. You can ba just barely see it there. So this is embossed on the inside on there. There are milliliters on one side. Actually, I think it's milliliters on both sides. Yeah. So there is a five, ten, and fifteen mL mark. That's what it looks like from the inside. So it measures the uh, volume in milliliters on both sides of the cup. Okay. So to compare the height, um, the Ruby Cup is just a little bit longer with the stem on. Just a tiny bit longer. I think it, I can't guess right now, but, um, I'm sorry. Ruby Cup is a little bit longer if you ignore the stem, I should have said. Um, but I, I'll include exact dimensions in the description box. I think at the, this kind of gets into the range where it's, I think, negligible, the difference in height. Um, for me, like, you know, I have a loose cervix and I can pretty much wear anything, um, I would say up to 40 millimeters comfortably without any trouble. So in terms of comfort, like this length is, the difference between these is not that important in length anyway. Difference in, in diameter though is quite significant. Um, again, I'll include the exact dimensions below, but you can see the difference in the size here. I think there will be, I'm I feel like it's probably 40 or 41 and this I know is 48. I said Ruby can fit like all the way inside this, just so you can see the difference. Um, you can kind of sit in there and even like wiggle around. So to compare the firmness, the Ruby is definitely softer. Um, I'm going to try to line up the base a bit here. So the pressure on the bodies. Again, you see the Juju kind of immediately crushes the Ruby there. But again, that's because the, the very base of the Juju is quite firm compared to the rest of the cup. I'm going to press it just on the rims. The rims are, are cl much closer than the bodies. So if you ignore what the body is doing, you can see 
Like I have to kind of press really hard to get both rooms to close up at the same rate. Okay, so that is the um, Juju Cup Model 4 compared to the Ruby Cup Small. Uh, I hope I covered everything. I was, I think I keep forgetting to mention the difference in capacity between these cups. I've been doing comparison videos for a couple of days now. Um, but I will include capacity difference in the description box. Um, for me with a low Civix, I, I think I just kind of ignore capacity because I never get the full capacity out of a cup anyway. So the total capacity is kind of irrelevant to me. It really matters just like um, where the cup sits in my vagina, like how much room my Civix takes up. Because then that will affect the capacity more than the actual state of capacity of the cup. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.